Hey guys, welcome back to Spud Run Golf. In today's episode, everybody always asks me what's the course record. I can honestly say we've not put together seven straight holes, kept score. It's always been a scramble, a 2v2 type match. So today you're going to see me keep score for seven straight holes. Now I haven't hit a golf ball in Ohio all year. True story. Now, I've hit golf balls, it's just not been in the high. So 310 yards, normally I would probably try to drive closer to the green. Right now I got the three wood out, so I'm playing conservative. Course is in great shape. That could be in the woods. It's coming back. <laughs> All right, let's go see what we got. And if you see my sweet attire, I came here and busted tail to get this golf course ready, get this golf hole ready in our backyard, just so it could look nice for me to want to play because afterwards, my buddies are coming over, we're gonna play some more. But I wanted to jump in, like I said, seven holes, best score, I'm guessing I can do, if I shoot, I would like to shoot two over or better. I think I can do that. Having said that, that's my T-ball. So at Spud Run Golf, we can roll it in the fairways. I've got the option to take a drop or play that. I'm playing it by golly. I'm about 110 in. I got a pitching wedge from the sandstone. <laughs> Shot number three on this 310 yard par four back going. I think that's gotta go. Oh boy, a little rusty. Shot number four, daggone it. And I don't know how this green's gonna roll either. Come on, up and down, save the bogey. Oh, five. All right, we got hole number two, par three. On the right side, we've got these blooming, uh, looks like maple trees. You can go straight at this, it's just those limbs will get in your play, as you can see. A fade is the best. 186. Got a tightless five iron. It's not cutting. Come on. But the course, as you can see right here, it's just, it's coming together beautifully. One of the best views from that little par three tee box. It really is. Just a little left. This almost requires a flop shot. Don't want to get too cute with it. But we're one over. We need to get this up and down. Let's go get down. Oh boy. All right, gotta knock this one in, save par. At least up and down, right? Go, that's a little bit of a tester. All right, we got four feet left and this is gonna break a decent amount. And I'm still not sure how these greens are reacting. To go to two over. Ooh. Bogey. All right, hole number three. The good news about this hole, it's 243 yards. I can get a three wood there easily. I'm just, I'm not hitting my marks tonight, which is okay. I, I, we're still having fun. So you can see this one here is gonna take a little bit of a draw if you want it to be perfect. Three wood, 243, hole number three. She's a beast. This is where you can shake and bake on a scramble. Guys, I need to get this one on green. Two over after two. My own daggone course. This is the first time I've played this course. Look, got a hook. Turned out I'm a little bit short. And from this view, it does, does look tight. Sit. Oh yeah, oh yeah, baby. Looks like it's straight in. Come on, to get the one over. Get one back on the field. Oh. <laughs> Another breaker to the right, but this will bring us back to even if I can somehow slide this in. All right, guys, man, we got to get this back. One over, couple to play, three to play. All right, hole number five, as you can see, definitely some trouble if you go straight at the pin. This is not a hooker's paradise. This is a slicer's paradise. So we got three three wood. Uh, we're wanting a nice controlled cut shot. K 
Kicked it out left. Got the trees. Another daggone creek shot. Oh yeah. To get back even, here again, another breaker. Right to left, a little bit uphill on the freshly aerated greens. Short. Still one over, guys. Still one over. Rolling in the hole number six. Now up here is where I want to put a little 19th hole type structure. Uh, just a beautiful view looking down. It's a tough shot, actually. Maybe with area and greens, it'll hold. Usually it wants to roll off, but this one here is all about feel. All right. Uphill putt for Rudy. All right, still one over, guys. With a big par five make or break hole coming up, I will not leave this one short. <laughs> Famous last words, does your husband play too? Here we are going to the last frame, par five, big hole, dog leg left, hike about 500 yards. We'll talk more about the yards here in a minute. One over, spud run, let's go. All right, this is our last frame, hole number seven, par five. Need to hit a nice high hook to set us up for an eagle. But there's tons of trouble right, left, everywhere else. That's a little bit right, it should be okay. Holy cow, bombed it. <laughs> I've never been up there, guys. Let's go. For sure, bombed that one, but in the wrong direction. I'm lucky to find it up here. So we're in between the, the little par three tee box, that tee box we used just out a minute ago. So that little tee box there is 184, 186. So we're looking at close to 195. Cut shot, uphill lie, let's go. Guys, I've got a three iron. I don't think there's no way I can cut this ball. This is not even cut, this has to be a slice. I've got three iron, so hopefully the lack of Distance, if we do hit it right, we'll still make it at least near the green. Oh, it's going right at it, but it's not enough. We definitely need a golf cart. I've got golf clubs falling out, beer cans going to fall off. Dang on it, guys. I thought I was way closer. Just getting too old and fat to play this game. I enjoy working on this damn thing more than I do playing anyways. Up and down for even par. Cinderella story. And I'm short, way short, come on. Go! <laughs> Guys, that's a backhanded tap in for one over par at Spud Run Golf. What's my backyard course record? There you go. One over par after seven holes. It was kind of a struggle, two crick balls. Hopefully one day you guys will get to play here too. Obviously, that course record can be beaten. Hopefully, I beat it one day. Several exciting episodes coming up here at Spoder and Golf. Make sure you hit the like button. Tell your friends about it. Let's hit the subscribe button. Let's keep this baby rocking and rolling. After freshly setting the new Spudron course record, I come to you in our grass bunker. Why? Because on the next episode, you're going to see us jump in this baby and add some sand. I've set its maintenance, blah, blah, blah. But I think it's time. I think it's time to dig this out, add some nice sand to it. It's just going to give this whole thing, uh, it's going to take it up a whole level. So come up next on Spud Run Golf. You're going to see a bunker going in right here at Spud Run Golf. Guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for playing with us. Spud Run Golf, over and out.